In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to unlock your Chromebook with your Android phone. So, if you have an Android phone and you don't want to type in your password every time you want to use your Chromebook, you can just open it up, unlock your phone with your fingerprint or face, and you're in. You will still have to enter your password or PIN every time you completely shut down your Chromebook and turn it back on again, but Whenever you wake it up from sleep or close it and then open it again, your phone will unlock it for you. In order to do this, you will need to be signed in to the same Google account on your Chromebook and on your Android phone. But assuming that you just have one main Google account that you use for everything, there should be no problems there. And you will also need to have Bluetooth turned on on both your phone and your Chromebook. So make sure Bluetooth is turned on on both of them now. And you will need to make sure you keep Bluetooth turned on on both of them because whenever you unlock your Chromebook, it will need to communicate with your phone via Bluetooth. But once you've gotten that out of the way and you're ready to get this set up, You'll need to open the settings on your Chromebook. So come down and click on the time in the bottom right hand corner here. And then in this menu that appears, click on the settings icon up the top. And now you'll be in settings. So you'll just need to scroll down a tiny little bit to where it says connected devices. And you'll see here, it says Android phone. Connect your Chromebook with your phone. So all you need to do is go ahead and click set up and now it will bring up this menu here ready for you to connect your phone. So you'll have this select a device option here. So if you have multiple phones signed into your Google account like Timmy does, you can click on this menu here and select the one you want to use. But if you just have your old phone and your new phone, it will usually automatically select your newest phone. So that should be all good. And if you only have one phone signed in, it should just be selected for you. And now, once you've chosen your phone, you can go ahead and click accept and continue. So now it will ask you for your Google password just to confirm it's you. So go ahead and type in your Google password which is the same password as you use to sign into any your Google account on anything or your Chromebook when you're logging into your Chromebook. So go ahead and type that in. And once you've typed that in, you can go ahead and click done down here. And now it says all set. So now you can click done and you're ready to go. So as you can see here, a notification will pop up telling you smart lock is turned on and the next time your phone will unlock your Chromebook. So you can go ahead and dismiss this notification and that's really all there is to it. You can close the settings app and now whenever your Chromebook falls asleep or you shut the lid and then you open it again, when you're trying to log back in, it will still have the password box here. So if your phone is not with you or something goes wrong and it doesn't work, you can always type your password and log in. But you'll also see this icon here that says to unlock your Chromebook, first unlock your phone. So all you need to do is grab your phone and unlock it with your fingerprint or your face. And now, as you can see, it will say unlocked by your phone. Tap or click to enter. So. You can just click on this arrow or tap on it if you have a touch screen and you're in without having to type a password. So that's really cool and that should make it a lot quicker and easier to get into your Chromebook. But if you want to see how to change the password on your Chromebook or even switch it to a six digit pin for the times when you need to type your password, Timmy shows you how to do that in this video here.